As I mentioned in my previous video, I have had the dreaded ZWO oil leak on my sensor. So in this video, I'm going to take the camera apart and attempt to clean it. So wish me luck. Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Thank you very much for watching. In this video, I'm going to be attempting to clean the oil leak off of my sensor, which I've experienced over the last few weeks. So I was outside, I was photographing the California Nebula um, and a few subs rolled in and then all of a sudden there was one sub which had a huge black mark all across it. Um, so I waited for a few more subs to roll in and they all had that same mark. So I instantly knew something was wrong and I was really concerned by what that was. So I stopped my imaging session, I took the camera off and I looked down that sensor and my heart sank. Um, I just knew that I had that dreaded oil leak issue and this seems to be a quite common issue with the ZWO cameras, in particular the 2600 series. So if you are looking to get one of the ZWO 2600s, either the mono or the color camera, uh, be aware that you might and you're quite likely at some stage to experience this oil leak yourself. Aside from that, the camera's excellent, um, but yeah, a little bit disappointed with ZWA that it's such an expensive camera, and yet there seems to be this quality control issue that they, they are trying to, to cope with. Um, I think it's so common that they've got a generic response to any emails, so I was hoping that um, they might be able to give me a little bit more information, but I just got a one or two line response with a link to a PDF on how to clean the sensor myself. Um, thankfully, there are lots of great YouTube videos out there. Um, so I'm not gonna do a tutorial about how to, to clean the sensor today. The one that I'm going to be following is from Nick at Windy City Astro. He has just started a YouTube channel um, and his videos are great, so make sure you check him out. But one of his first videos was a tutorial about how to do this exact uh, job. Um, it's really clear, really straightforward. So if anyone wants to, to view that, I will put the link in the description below. I think I've got everything I need to get started with this task. So I have the tools I need to take the camera apart. I have a rocket blower just to get rid of any dust or any particles on the sensor or um, in and around the camera. I've got some gloves, so powderless gloves to just to make sure um, when I'm handling the camera, the filters, then I don't touch anything and leave oily marks on them. And I have a sensor cleaning kit. Now this is just a generic AS APS-C size sensor cleaning kit. Um, I think it costs $9.99 for Amazon. It got some good reviews, so hopefully that does the job. This will also give me a chance to take the filters out of the filter wheel um, and, and actually give them a clean because I haven't done that since I put them in about six or seven months ago. Um, this filter wheel is actually bolted onto the camera, so it's screwed into the back of the camera, so it's not that easy to open up, take the filters out and give them a clean. So this is the ideal opportunity to do that. So I think I'm at the stage now where I can actually just dive in and actually start cleaning the sensor. Um, it's quite coincidental that I'm recording this on Halloween because this absolutely does uh, fill me with dread. But hopefully, if everything goes according to plan, I'll be up and running and be able to image again tonight. So, wish me luck. <laughs> Okay, so I've taken the filter wheel off and I'll clean the filters uh, shortly, but this is the issue that I'm dealing with. So hopefully you can see that in this light, um, but there is the oil leak all over the sensor. So just on the bottom half of the, the sensor, but definitely impacting my images. So something that needs to be done. So now I need to take the back off, um, expose the sensor itself um, and actually give it a clean. Okay, so that's the tilt plate off. Now I need to open up the camera itself. And 
and there you can see the camera sensor is fully exposed. And what I didn't know before, there is actually a little bit of oil leak on the top hand side of the sensor as well. I'm not sure whether you can pick that up, but definitely a lot down the bottom. Okay, so I have my sensor swab. So I've got my swabs and I've got my cleaning uh, fluid. What I need to do is put a couple of drops on that and then go over the, the sensor and make sure it's a clean, um, making sure that I don't use this more than once. Um, so only one pass of the sensor with each swab. So thankfully I've got quite a few and I've got a few more in the box as well. Um, hopefully I don't need more than that. <laughs> I think I've got most of the oil off. Now I'm just going to go over with a clean one to get any further residue off the sensor. Okay, so one thing I need to do now is put these desiccant tabs into the microwave to warm them back up, and then they go back in the camera to make sure that there's no moisture inside this sealed chamber. So apparently I need to do this quite quickly. Um, so I need to microwave them for a few minutes, put them back in the, uh, in the lid of the sensor in these little spots here, back on top, screw it in place, and hopefully that should control all of the moisture inside this sealed chamber. Okay, so that is the sensor cleaned and the uh, housing put back on. So hopefully that's now all airtight and those uh, tabs are doing their job. Sensor looks good to me. I can't see any more oil leaks on it. I'm just gonna clean the, the protective glass here now, just to make sure it's all nice and clean and then attach the filters and I should be good to go tonight. <laughs> You can probably sense my relief in the fact that I think that went according to plan. So hopefully this camera is now back up and running, but I will put up a quick side by side. So this is the sensor when I had the oil on it. So you can definitely see the oil at the bottom of the sensor there. And this is what it looks like now after giving it a good clean. So fingers crossed, I've done the, the job correctly. Um, I did follow the instructions that ZWA sent. I did watch that um, and follow the instructions that Nick had in his amazing YouTube video. So make sure you check out his channel. It's Windy City Astro. Um, but hopefully this camera is now up and running. Um, I just thought I would uh, do this quick video to, to show you what you might be going through if you decide to, to purchase a ZWA camera, specifically the 2600 series. So it seems to be a very common issue with the 2600 mono and color camera. So if you purchase one of these, um, bear in mind, you might have to go through this process in the future. But thank you very much for watching. Please leave a comment if you've experienced something similar. Um, tonight I'm going to be in the garden trying to photograph the bat and squid nebula. So hopefully I have that image to show you in the next video. But yeah, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.